first. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Flip it. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh, do you look at it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he's gonna get in the water. That is fat, dude. He's a little fatty. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh <laughs> God! Jesus. This man is an already. So, if you guys are wondering, we lifted these and they just started running everywhere. Let's just put them. You want to put them over there? Yeah, we can. We can just let get them at least get them out of the way and get them get them safe. That was little little guy, little family. All right, let guys. Him, let him free. Yeah, we can't. I can't. Can I can't do that, man. Oh, look at him. Look Bye at him go. <laughs> oh, this poor one. Look at him go. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that was crazy, man. Uh, we we saved the little family from them getting flipped over when they were flipping over the kayaks, kind of, right? Yeah, no, they we, were. Uh, we can't use them, dude. They're too nah, cute. They were too <laughs> cute. I was just looking at them. It was like a little family. Unfortunately, we're not going to use the, the mice for the video today, but we have plenty of other stuff to catch some giants on. So we're about to go find them. Let's go catch some tanks, guys. Hey, grab a grab this stick right here, or like a right here. Or yeah, that probably works. So guys, there's one more left in here and he's gonna be going in this kayak. Are you sure it's right there? Are you sure he's in there? Yeah. Uh, he's positive, Fletcher. I don't know about that, man. I know there's one more in this one, somewhere. <laughs> uh, he's gonna be thinking about it the whole time. You might have one crawl on your pant leg. If he crawls on my pant leg, I'm definitely using it. <laughs> so that was an interesting way to start the video. We actually saw some of those little mice and everything crawling around. You know, they were getting in some kayaks, so we wanted to get them in a little bucket. We were like, oh, we could use them for live bait, but they were just too cute. That is not something that we could do. We're not going to do that. I had a lot of people comment, hey, use some mice as live bait. That's just, dude, it was like a little family. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just a little thing. You can't just, break them up. I know, man. I, I, I would not feel comfortable doing that. We're, we're animal lover, lovers over here. But anyways, a um, couple of Fletcher's buddies out here, they're on their kayaks. We're going to be... Running like a little kayak versus John boat tournament, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh our two biggest. So instead of weighing like our best five, like Fletcher's gonna catch one or whatever our two biggest are out of this boat, and then their biggest combined together. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Have a little kayak versus John boat tournament. I got my super six box in here. I might open this up throughout the day, see if there's something in here. It's actually, it was really cold this morning. I think it was like a low of what was it, like 31 this morning? 30? Yeah, it was like low 30s. I think it's like mid 40s right now. We have this huge cold front hit for out here. It was actually hot the last couple of days. So fishing might be a little tough, but we're going to catch them anyways. Let's get it started. But if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, check out my boy Fletcher's channel and uh, we're going to go catch them. So guys, I got a jerk bait tied on that rod. You guys know I've been using the provoke a lot lately. I got a quake tied on this but we're actually going to cut this off i think we need some a little more finesse but also a bait that's going to be able to catch a big fish and you guys have known that i've been addicted to the jig fishing lately i think we're going to tie on a little a little hybrid jig right here with the prawn this one's like green pumpkin going to be good for this you know somewhat clear water it's got pretty good visibility so we're gonna tie this on skip under some trees throw the jerk bait leave some long pauses and hopefully we'll catch some big fish how big is he like two and a half uh, two. two pounds Maybe two. What do you guys say, Fletcher? They're already like on board, bro. Man, we're over here filming and stuff. We we gotta get over there. This is a filming fishing. life, right? Yeah, this is our. These guys are out here. They're already casting and stuff. Me and they are messing around with the camera. It's a tough life, guys. We gotta we gotta get going. It's time to get these baits in the water. You smoked? Yeah. A line took off, dude. He never had it. That was weird. I was, I was judging not off of what I was feeling, off of what I saw. Yeah, I just saw but that was a fish, yeah. No, 
if we drive over, I bet you we'd see it. Uh huh. It's oh. That one? Yep. I don't think he's big. There you go. Oh, he ain't. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, he's, he's Dude, look at the boy. mouth on that sucker. He That's didn't feel nice big. Bass. That's almost a four pounder. Yes, sir. On the jig. Wow, Fledger. Delivers. <laughs> well, guys, that is our first fish today, and it's a freaking good one. I told Fledger, I was like, you know, today with how the pressure is and these fish are going to be a lot slower, this jig's not going to get many bites, but when it does, we were thinking it's going to get a good one. And that's a solid three and a half pounder. We're going to flop them on the scale. Freaking hybrid jig, baby. You guys seen it. You guys seen it the last freaking, what, like five episodes, Fletcher? It's just been showing out. It's been out producing everything. <laughs> everything. It's not even close. For the big bites, this is the way to go. I think I'm gonna use yours. All right, zero it out. Let's get our weight. And guys, we are getting a new scale. One is in the mail, I promise. I've, <laughs> we've been reading the comments. <laughs> We're not lying to y'all about these weights, though. 326. They're actually 330. Beautiful fish. Got a huge head on. When he jumped, we thought he was almost a like a four. I didn't think he was big though, but that's a freaking 330. Wow. That's a beautiful bass. Look at that. See, it's like his. He's just kind of. He's got a big head. He's healthy fish, but just a big old mouth. There she goes. Let's go, Fletcher. That's a great start. 330. That's good, man. These boys going to be hurting today. Dude, he hammered that thing, dude. I mean, like, do, 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 like the hardest, which is crazy. But usually after a cold front, I mean, sometimes they bite, they bite so weird. Maybe that's how they're going to bite. Dude, but he went, da, da, da. See that? It's the Lego swim bait, bro. <laughs> we still are on the hunt for the Lego swim bait, guys. It's in a fish's mouth somewhere in this place. I'd love to get it back and, uh, more importantly, get it out of a fish's mouth. I got one. Wow, I think that's a good one. Oh my gosh, that's four pounder. Wow, wow, dude. Oh, he's barely hooked. Yeah, you can grab him, he's barely hooked. That's a good one too, Fletcher. We need that one, buddy. We need that one, buddy. It's three pounder, he ain't four. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, that old. Dude. You know what's crazy is this bite was the, 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 the total opposite, man. Never felt him eat it. The other one like hammered it, and this one just like loaded up. That's a solid three pounder, easy three pounder. Yeah, that jig, bro. You know, produces the big bites. We've been killing it with it. Look at his mouth. A little something wrong with him. Let's get a weight on this guy. This can be our second. We'll, we'll get him in. We'll get him clocked in, Fletch. And he's like identical. Three, two, four. 328. 330. No way. No way. 330. You guys see it right there. Exact same weight as the last one. That is incredible. See, this guy is just a football. He doesn't have a big mouth, but he's just a football. Freaking two 330s, guys. So we got a total of six pounds, two bass limit. Six pounds, 6.60. Yeah. I did. Ooh, don't be pissing oh. on me, boy. <laughs> Woo. Look at that. That's what you call a football. There that beauty goes. Let's get it flush. We might need to get you on a big jig if I catch another one. Yes, sir. I'll eat it today. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I never felt that fish bite. You just had it. Ooh, oh, did you I see that? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> on the underspin. <laughs> Let's go. You look about the same size as the others. Uh, I can't tell how big he I think he's. Oh, he's probably another, oh, another, another chunk. Probably high twos, three pounds. Good fish, good fish. Oh, he's three all day. That's three all day. Look how pretty he is, wow. man. Look at the colors on these fish. He might be bigger. Oh, dude, I think he, I think this might be the biggest <laughs> one. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Man, <laughs> look at this big, gorgeous fish. A bruiser, man, just an absolute bruiser. Hey, Fletcher, it's 30 degrees this morning, but guess what? We catch him. We catch him. We baby. catch him. <laughs> we get on him. Just look at this. Just look how she's just barely hooked right there. Today, we're out here. The weather's warming up. The bass are starting to heat back up. And as you can tell, we are catching brutes out here. This one's, this might be the best one yet so yeah, far. I, I think he's bigger than the last two. I think he's a 3.5. 
That's a good fish. He might be 3.6. 3.72. 3.72? 3.72. Oh, no. These boys don't even know, Fletcher. Gorgeous fish, man. Just super filled out. Just They don't get any healthier than that at all. I mean, that is just a... Man. Let's get this pretty old thick mama back in there. We actually watched her eat that underspin. Y'all probably couldn't see it, but man. Later, beautiful. Good cold, man. That was that was good. We're getting on quick too, man. It was it was cold for about 25, 30 minutes. They're not a bite, and then all of a sudden three fish, pow. Now we're on them. I think I got slammed a second ago. Dude, they're on this concrete, which makes sense in this cold. He's no no. no. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Getting too excited, Flush. <laughs> Don't listen to Noah when he gets too excited. I get a little too crazy, man. It's so funny because I, I fished my whole life. I've fished done kicking their bass for almost a decade, and, and every fish I get just as excited on. It's hilarious. And people make fun of me for it, but I love fishing that much. I think we got a killer combo going. Underspin and a big jig. And that one caught the biggest one. I yeah. mean surprisingly. And they're all, you know, they're all around that good three three number. Those are all good fish, though. There he is. No way. Got him. A small one. Not small, but ah, oh, yeah, he is small. Thought he was two. He's just one pounder. Surprise! You ate the jig, bud. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Hybrid jig just wants to catch them all. Look at that. <laughs> So if you guys are wondering what we're fishing, I don't know if you can see right here. This is actually where we ended up breaking off the leg of swim bait that day at this lake. Um, and we had the tournament with A-Dub and Norm. And we took the dub, of course. You know, me and Fletcher, got to, we, we got to swipe the dub from them. But um, if you, we don't, lose. we don't lose, baby. But uh, so we got a bunch of pipes right here in front of us. And it's something to really pay attention to, especially when the water temps are dropping and, and, and it's colder, is, you know, rock anything with concrete boat ramps stuff like that's going to heat up as the sun you know gets up during the day and that's exactly why we just found these fish stacked up we caught three off this one huge pile right here so all spread out one other thing is they can actually get up inside this pipe so we're kind of throwing parallel with it and the, any of those fish that want to come out and sniff this jig they're going to do so so we're going to keep on covering some water we're going to fish some more of this offshore stuff and then we're going to start you know working in in the back and there's a little pocket at the mouth of it that some of this pre-spawn fish are going to get in i think that's going to be a perfect little transition spot so we'll work our way over there but we're going to continue to fish some of this offshore stuff for right now oh yeah oh my god fletcher that's how they bite in a cold front right there one, one hard hit never had it dude they didn't jump my whole line i'd stay right here there he is that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a big one, dude. Oh, yeah. That's going to call out. That. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a healthy chunk. Oh, I don't know if he's on beat 330. Oh, maybe he will. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Stayed, yes. pulled off the spot a little more. Dude, they're reloading on this stuff. Look at that. Yeah, he ain't going to. I don't think he's on beat 3 something. Should we weigh him anyways? I don't think he's on beat 330. He felt so large. I guess that's how I had him hooked. Wow. Here we go. We got a beautiful one right there, about a three pounder. This spot looks like it's reloading a little bit. We pulled back off of it. It's been a second since we had a bite. Threw up there and he slammed that jig. Should we weigh him? I think yeah, let's go ahead. People like to see it weighed, even uh, even though our scale can't be seen on camera. <laughs> but I think it's been, it's been better today. All right, zeroed out. Yeah, he's low threes. 317. 317? Yeah. 317. Still a beautiful fish. He ain't gonna help us out, but that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Not not a bad one. Pretty fish. He's a pretty fish. That one felt big, man. I don't know. There it goes. Beautiful fish. Let's get back in there. Oh, there's some fish behind it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh my god. I got one too. I got a good one. Dude, mine's actually pretty good. Oh dude, there was like a little behind mine. Oh, mine's they're not on it. mine's not big enough. Yeah, they are on it. Had a bite right before this. That's probably the one that freaking bit me. We had to stay off right where we're at. That's freaking fatty. Oh man, how big was that fish? Like four or five pounds? Yeah, that was a big one. That Look how fat. fat. That's a thick fish. It's a thick boy. There's a bunch of stuff that we haven't even got into over here too. See all of it over mm -hmm. there. 
No way, bro. Another one? Yes. Dude, they are literally... Oh. Another. Look how big they all are, but they're not like... Kind of... Uh, this is another three-pounder. I don't even think I want to weigh him. Yeah, he's, I don't think he's going to call right there. It's a good fish, though. Look at, I mean, look at how good they are and healthy. Look at them toting. Yeah, I'm about to say, dude, you might need to tie on a jig. I, I mean, I've caught almost 10 fish already that are all like three pounds. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is a freaking mega. Jesus, that is a thick guy. He's a low three, though. I mean, I've caught 15 pounds in like so quick. Look at, Look at that. even worth weighing them and that's a good fish i mean that's just unbelievable after a cold front you would not expect that I mean, it's been a cold last couple days and a lot of people are saying it's not that cold i mean that the, the difference though there's a difference when it stays consistent at 65 70 and then drops a 30 it's just weird. there's no it broke me off i should have retied i knew i should have retied <laughs> noah you should have retied I was telling myself the last two fish that I need to retire and I was being too lazy. And then I just resulted in the consequences there. If you're fishing some thick, you know, you know, just thick stuff like that, especially concrete, you gotta check your line and and Noah messed up again, yet again. Another lesson learned. Not really, I learned the same lesson twelve times a day. <laughs> Well, guys, we hit this other offshore spot. It hasn't produced like the last three times we came out here. They're on this stuff. We just got to stay off it like this. We could probably catch a few. Fletcher's throwing a glide bait, and he has had a about, nice a, about a four-pounder right behind it. Oh, my gosh. Got him. Yeah. Crushed it. Yes. Actually, looks like a, that looks like a good one. Oh, my oh, God. That's a good one. That's good. Oh, my God. That's a chunk. Is he four? I can't tell. No, he's three. <sighs> he's going to be the biggest. Yeah, I think he's calling out that 330. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. God. It's they're, close. They're quality fish, man, but they're and they're all so good. And, all, and, it's the same size. Yeah, they're all just twins, man. I, Guys, it's really hard to complain about a three-pound fish, but I just don't know if he's... I think he's the low three again. I don't think he's three and a half. So we, we got to beat 330. I don't think he's that. And he's low three. Three like two. Three two. Yeah. Well, man, that's, that's a beautiful bass. When he rolled, he looked really big, didn't mm -hmm. he? <laughs> His mouth. This fish trick you in this clear water. I feel like when a fish is underwater, he looks a little bigger. I could be wrong. God, they're on these piles though. This is the so we fish two piles of nothing, and then we fish two that just have fish on it. I mean, he had followers on the glide bait. We just gotta stick it out. You know, keep moving. We need that five pounder.